everyone, welcome to Cosmic Kids. I'm Jamie and this is your place for yoga, stories and fun. It's easy, just copy the moves I do and enjoy the adventure. Now we always start in the same way, by sitting on our bottoms, crossing our legs and bringing our hands together at our hearts and saying our secret yoga code word, which is Namaste. Ready? After three. One, two, Three. Namaste. There. Now we're ready to begin. So let's have a little look through our cosminoculars, thumbs and fingers together, and see what our adventure is about today. Have a look through. <gasps> wow. Can you see that? That looks amazing. All those colours, those shapes. It's a stick. Just a stick. Oh no, hang on. It's a sting insect. <gasps> it's Stella the stick insect. She's doing yoga. <gasps> She's doing eagle pose. Wow, this is great. We're off to the park today to go and find Stella the stick insect. Let's begin our story lying in our beds. Lying all the way down. Make your body nice and long and relaxed. And we're going to pretend that it's a Saturday morning. Ah, bliss. We wake up and we stretch our arms and our legs. Oh. We come up to sit, crossing our legs and stretch again. Oh. Then we stand up and we fold all the way forwards, reaching our arms forwards to draw the curtains. Oh, it's a bit rainy today. Let's have a shower in the rain. Standing up, we pitter-patter all over our heads, that rain. All over our bodies and our arms. All over our tummies and our legs. Oh dear, we're getting a bit wet in this rain. So we rub ourselves dry using our hands. That's better. Time to go downstairs and have some breakfast. Down we go, down we go, down we, down we, down we go. We sit down with our legs crossed and we reach up to get the biggest pot, bringing it all the way down in front of us. Now we're going to make some porridge. So we take our hand across to our knee and twist around to get our porridge oats. Here they are. Let's shake them in the pot. Shake them, shake them, shake them, shake them, shake them, shake them, shake them. Take your other hand across to your other knee and twist the other way. This time we need to get some milk. So we get our milk and we pour it in the pot. There we go. Now we need to stir it. So we take our legs out wide and we take hold of our stirring stick and we stir it, stir it, stir it. We put that stirring stick down and we take our other stirring stick and we stir the other way. Stir it, stir it, stir it. Oh, it's ready. We cross our legs. We fold forwards, keeping our bottoms planted on the floor and then we eat up our porridge. Mmm, 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 mmm. Delicious. We sit up nice and tall and we rub a hand on our tummies and we pat our heads at the same time. Ooh. So, so clever. It's time to go. So we come up to two knees, we take our arms out wide and we give everyone at home a great big hug. Bye! Time to open up the door. We take our leg out to the side, our arm up to the sky and we fold down to the side. Ooh. Opening the door. Then we close it behind us, two knees together, leg out to the other side, arm up to the sky and close the door. Time to get on our bicycles. We lie on our backs and we crisscross our fingers behind our heads, lifting up our legs. Then we have to pedal really slowly as we go up the hill. Oh, it's quite hard. Oh, now we're going down the hill. So we go really, really fast. <laughs> we arrive at the park. Let's go on the swings. We stand up and we bend our knees. We reach our arms up high. Ready? One, two, three. Whee! 
down, up, and again. One, two, three, wee! And up. This is great, but shall we go on the slide? Yeah, come on. Sitting on your bottoms, legs out long. Take your hands behind you, point your fingers in towards your bottom. Ready to go on the slide, ready? That was brilliant fun. Now, we see a little lake. Drawing the soles of your feet together, make a big diamond shape with your legs. On this lake, there is a tiny little boat. Turning yourself around, lift up one foot, lift up two, lift up one hand, lift up no hands, and give me a wave. Hi! We row this little boat across the lake, legs out long, take hold of your oar and row. Let's sing our row, row, row your boat song, ready? Row, row, row your boat gently down the stream. Merrily, 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 life is but a dream. Ring, 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 ring. That's the phone. Shall we, shall we answer? Hello? Oh, there's going to be a bug ball tonight. Ooh, we're invited. Mm, yes, we'd love to come. OK, yeah, see you in a minute. Bye. We put the phone down and we row with the other oar. Picking it up, here we go. Row, row, row your boat gently down the stream. Merrily, 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 life is but a dream. Ring, 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 ring. What's the phone again? Can we answer this one? Hello? It's Stella the stick insect. Hi, Stella. Oh, you're in a bit of a pickle. Oh, all right then. Yeah, we'll be there in a minute. Yeah, we'll help. Righto. OK, bye. We put the phone down. Poor Stella, she's in a bit of a pickle. When we get to the banks of the lake, we take big squadgy mud walks. Standing up, coming to the side, ready for a big squadgy walk. Squadge! And back. And again. Squadge! We come to a clearing. This must be where the ball's happening. We find all of the bees tuning up. Crossing your legs, take your fingers and see if you can close your ears and go... Like a bee tuning up to play its musical instrument tonight. All around we can see beautiful butterflies. They're going to be doing the decorations for tonight. Drawing the soles of your feet together, hold onto your toes and flutter your butterfly wings. There are also lots of rather wonderful caterpillars wiggling around. Coming onto your bellies, everybody. Hands underneath your shoulders, point your toes back. Oh, yes. I'm just trying out all of the leaves to check that they're going to be tasty for tonight. Mmm, these are really good. Mmm. Oh, it's good we've got the caterpillars doing the catering. Next, we see the grasshoppers in the hopper hair salon having their wings trimmed and highlighted. Laying all the way down on your belly, take your arms out wide, bend up one foot and press it to the sky. Then see if you can use your other foot to hoist it up. Yeah, Sharon, I was just saying, that Stella the Stick Insect, she's in a bit of a flap at the moment. <gasps> we hear this and we wonder where Stella is. Swapping your legs all the way over now, lift up your other foot, press it to the sky and hoist it up. Oh yeah, Stella, she's over on that broken branch. Go see her. <gasps> we put our foot down and we roll over onto our backs. We take our arms out wide and we lift up our legs. Then we take our legs over to one side and our head over to the other, making a broken branch. We look all over this broken branch trying to find where Stella is. Where is she? See if you can take your legs up and over to the other side now and take your head round to the other side. All of a sudden, we hear a... <laughs> we sit up and we look really carefully and sure enough, we can see her. But it's very hard to see Stella when she's sitting on a branch because she looks a bit like a branch. But now she's crying, we can hear her. There she is, poor Stella. 
Coming up onto two knees. Take your leg out to the side and take your arm down to the side beside you. Reach up with your top arm, up and over your ear, coming into your stick insect pose. Oh, it's awful. There's no point in me going to the ball because nobody can see me. I'm always camouflaged by everything. Coming to your knees. Oh, Stella. When you go to a party, you should wear really nice, bright party clothes. Then everyone will see you. <gasps> Stella thinks this is a great idea, but we need to do a bit of a wash. So we cross our legs and we bring our hands back behind our heads and we wash Stella's best party clothes. Wisha, washa, wisha, washa, wisha, washa, woo! Wisha, washa, wisha, washa, wisha, wisha, woo! Then we dry them in our special tumble dryer, bringing your fingers in front of your mouth and blow. <gasps> now Stella pops them on and shows them off. Coming up to two knees, arms out wide, drop down onto the other side, take your leg out to the side and stretch your top arm up and over your ear. Oh, I feel all right now. Shall we go? Yes, and there is only one way to arrive at the bug ball and that is in style, in a lady bug limo. Coming to your knees, fold all the way forwards. Now, Crisscross your fingers and rest them on the base of your back. Now lift and lower your elbows like a little ladybird. We arrive at the party. Sitting up, it's in full swing. Everybody's dancing. Stella stands and stiffens up. Um, the problem is I'm really good at copying everybody else because I'm a stick insect. But I'm not very good at dancing, just being myself, being natural. Oh, Stella, you'll be fine. Go on, go and have fun. You'll find your groove. But sure enough, Stella's not very good at just dancing as herself. She just copies everyone else. First, she copies the termites doing the twist. Jump your feet wide and twist. Then she copies the caterpillars doing the caterpillar dance. Coming down onto hands and knees. Press up into your dog pose. Come down to your knees, drop down to your belly. Roll your shoulders up like a caterpillar. Try it again, come back to your knees, tuck your toes, up to your dog. Back to your knees, down to your belly and up like a caterpillar. Then she copies the beetles. They're on their backs doing some beatbox dancing. Coming up onto your bottoms, lying down on your back. Now, reach up and see if you can grab your feet. The beetles are having a great time wiggling around, doing their beatbox. <laughs> Stella is very good at copying them all. Yes, she would be so good if she could just dance naturally, be herself, find her own way of tuning into the music. We decide to have a little rest and have a drink. We have some firefly fizz. Now we make a straw with our tongues curling up the sides like this. And we take a big suck in. Mmm, delicious. Now, if you can't do that curling up with the sides thing, do this instead. Mmm, <sighs> so refreshing and cool in our mouths. <gasps> All of a sudden, landing in front of us is a fairy god praying mantis. Coming up into a squat position, everyone. Sitting right the way back on your heels, taking your elbows inside your legs, joining your hands together like a fairy god praying mantis. Dearest Stella, wherever you go, whatever you do, never be afraid to be completely you. Trust in yourself, believe and let go. Forget all the others, let your light shine through. And with that, the fairy god praying mantis launches itself into the night. Ready for a jump? One, two, three, Whee! Oh my goodness me, that was awesome. 
and it seems to have really spoken to Stella. She feels ready to show what she can do. She comes to the dance floor, takes her position, takes her leg out to the side and her stick insect arm to the ground. Then she waves her antennae around and around and she puts her leg forward and bows to the ground. She comes on up to the other side, arms up wide down to the ground and leg up and long. She waves it around and around and around before she puts her leg front and to the ground. Stella is amazing when she dances and she's herself. She's captivating. Her confidence radiates. It's wonderful to see. Here comes Steve the spider, standing up, legs a little bit wider, bend your knees and make your fingers like spiders. Then bring them inside your feet, take them around the back and round the side and sit down. Um, I wondered, um, Stella, <clears throat> he's a bit shy. Um, could I, uh, could I ask, can I dance with you, Stella? Stella comes to her knees. She opens her arms wide and she beams Steve her biggest stick insect smile, giving him a great big hug. Oh, yes, Steve, let's dance the night away. We'd better leave these two love bugs alone. So we sit back and we blow them a kiss. We hop on the back of the ladybug limo, folding all the way down, crisscrossing our fingers at the base of our spine and lifting and lowering our elbows like ladybug winds. Then we find our bicycles back at the park, lying on our backs. We crisscross our fingers behind our heads, lift our legs to the sky and we pedal slowly first up the hill. Ooh, it's quite hard and then oh, really fast as we go down the hill. Wow, look everyone, it's really dark. So we stand up and we tiptoe, 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 tiptoe inside, back into our bedrooms where we lie down. Ah, oh, blissfully in our beds. Oh, that feels nice. All snuggled up and comfy and cosy, lying in our beds. As we lie down, we remember the words of the fairy god praying mantis. Wherever you go, whatever you do, never be afraid to be completely you. Trust in yourself, believe and let go. Forget all the others. Let your light shine through. As we remember these words, these wise words, we think about the light inside of us. What colour is your light? Maybe you can close your eyes and see it now. As we feel that light inside of us, we know that when we are just being ourselves, that light shines brightly. It fills us with warmth. And wherever we go, we need never be afraid of what people think because we are just being completely ourselves. Feeling that light inside you now, let's bring ourselves back, breathing into it. wiggling our fingers and our toes. We give our knees a hug and we roll onto our sides, slowly coming up to sit with our legs crossed and our hands together at our hearts. And we finish just the way we started with our secret yoga code word, which is Namaste. Ready? After three. One, two, Three. Namaste.
Well done, everyone. Thanks for coming to see Stella the Stick Insect with me and for coming to the Bug Ball. That was great fun. I hope to see you again soon for another Cosmic Kids adventure. Bye-bye. <whistles>
let's have a look on the other side. Sit up nice and tall and then twist yourself all the way round to maybe hold the back of your chair. That's it. Keep your feet planted and have a look. <gasps> look, there's our school, our friends and the park. Give them a wave. Hi everybody. Brilliant. We turn back to the front. Now, let's look through our cosmonoculars and see where we're going. Joining your thumbs and fingers together, have a look through. Wow, we can see a bright horizon. The sun and the sky, the clouds, it's beautiful. Now lowering your cosmonoculars down, I wonder if we can do the crazy cosmonocular face mask. Let's try. Bring your fingers up again, joining your thumbs and fingers together. Now take these three fingers and put them under your jaw, bringing your pinky finger to where your cheek meets your jaw. Now lift your elbows and lift up your cosmonocular holes so that you can see through them the upside down way. Yes, we're wearing our cosmonocular face mask. And the future is bright. Amazing. Lowering your arms all the way down. We crisscross our fingers and we lift them up and back behind our heads. We lean back in our chair and we close our eyes as our chair floats us up into the sky. We feel so peaceful and clear, ready to take this lovely peaceful feeling into the next thing we're doing. We've landed. Coming up to sit again, everyone. We're here and we're feeling fresh and ready. Well done, everyone. You were great. Well done, you. Now we have some yoga poses in the Yoga Pose universe for you to learn. It's great to become a master of these poses because when you come to do the adventures, you'll be amazing. I hope you love it. The Cosmic Kids Yoga Pose Universe. Tree pose. Standing nice and tall, we bring one foot on top of the other using our heel. Our knee turns out to the side. We bring our hands together at our hearts and we grow our branches up nice and tall, stretching as high as we can. Wow, well done everyone. Now tree pose is really good for stretching our sides, practicing our balance and for strengthening our back and our legs. Well done. Now let's see if we can do it on the other side. Lowering our arms all the way down, we switch our feet so the other heel's on top. We bring our hands together, we grow our arms up, our branches nice and tall. Now I wonder how strong you trees are. I'm going to do the tree test. You stay tall and strong and I'm going to come and blow you down. Let's see, here we go. Doopy doopy doo doo. <sighs> Strong trees, you're amazing, just as strong as real trees. Oh, whoops a daisy. Oh, even the real trees have to practice sometimes. Tree pose. Universe. 
spider pose. Taking your feet a little bit wider, bending your knees. Now take your hands in between your feet and walk your fingers round the backs of your feet like they're spiders, so that they sit on the outsides. Now shuffle your feet in towards each other so that your big toes come to touch. Crouching your legs over your upper arms so that you're strengthening your arms and opening your hips. That's what spider pose is very good for. What's that? There's a spider? Where? What? There isn't any spiders there. You're having a laugh. Oh, you're so funny trying to wind me up with the spider. What? Well, there's another one. Where? No, there isn't. There aren't any spiders in here. Oh, dear. You're very, very funny. Spider pose. Butterfly pose. Coming to sit on our bottoms and joining the soles of our feet together, using our hands to snuggle them in a little bit more. Now we lift and lower our knees like there are butterflies' wings fluttering around. Now butterfly pose is very good for opening our hips and stretching our inner thighs. It's also good for jiggling our insides around a bit to get everything moving, which is always a good thing. Now the other great thing about butterfly is we get to see what colour wings we've got by lifting up our leg nice and straight and having a look. Let's do it after three. Ready? One, two, three. Ooh. Wow, we've got blue and yellow and pink. Oh, it's beautiful. Lowering it all the way back down. Let's have a look on the other side. Ready? One, two, three. Ooh, green and purple and orange. Oh, wow, this is amazing. Lowering it all the way back down. Now, here comes the really challenging one. Can we lift up both wings together? Ready? This is a good test of our balance. Oh, after three. One, two, three. Ooh, wow, all the colours of the rainbow. Goodness me, it's gone butterfly bonkers in here. Ah! Butterfly pose. That was great, well done you. Now, let's get the volume turned up, get ready to sing, to dance, and enjoy ourselves in the yoga disco. Hello everyone, welcome to the Cosmic Kids Yoga Disco. I'm Jamie and this is your place for yoga, dancing, and lots of fun. It's easy, just copy the moves I do and enjoy the disco. This one's called Washing Machine Asonga, where we do our washing machine move and our tumble dryer move. First you get into the groove, with the washing machine a move. Then you build up the fire, as you blow your tumble dryer. Sit down and cross your legs, and put your hands behind your head. Then twist from side to side, let the rhythm be your guide. Wish a wash a wish a wash a wish a wash a woo. Wish a wash a wish a wash a wish a wash a woo. Let's take it to our fingers, make like a tumble dryer. 
Then you blow and blow and blow And see your fingers start to roll Blow a roll a blow a roll a Blow a roll a blow Blow a roll a blow a roll Blow a roll a blow a roll a Blow a roll a blow Wish a wash a wish a wash a Wish a wash a woo Wish a wash a wish a wash a Wish a wash a woo Wish a wash a mamba Wish a wash a samba Wish a wash a ramba Washing machine a song Rolling with the limbo Rolling to the beat of the bumbo Rolling with the mambo Washing machine a song Making my tummy stronger Washing machine a song Rumbly tumble raya Let's take the music Wish a wash a wish a wash a wish a wash a wash a Blow a roll a blow a roll a blow a roll a blow Everybody loves to dance and spin themselves around Twisting side to side, we love the salsa sound Washing machine a sangha, washing machine a sangha Rumbly tumble raya, now we all fall over That was brilliant, well done you now we're going to get the wriggles out. We're going to use some energy with a really exciting game of super yoga. In super yoga, you copy the moves as they come down on the screen and you score points for doing the poses. And at the end, you get a lovely relaxation where all the goodness of the points goes into your body. I hope you love it. Super yoga. Fly pose. Airplane pose.
forget to join me on Saturday morning for Saturday morning yoga. Get everyone at home together and enjoy some family time. Remember, subscribe and hit the bell so you never miss one. I'll see you Saturday.